Okay, we're looking at our reducing balance uh, depreciation now. This is the other kind of depreciation that you can use. It's more realistic because what it does is it takes into the fact that as the item gets older, uh, the amount that it drops each year in value <coughs> gets smaller. And that's that kind of makes sense. So if you think of a computer, the first year the computer will drop by a lot. Second year the price, the value isn't as much, so it's not going to drop by as much. And it keeps on going down like that. The tax department wants you to use this, this method. Um, and they set all the rates and things up for you so you don't actually have to guess about it. So just looking at it in a kind of visual way, if you have an item in a straight line depreciation, it just goes like that. Straight line down to nothing. Okay, so it disappears. Now, what we're saying for reducing balance is that it might start up the same spot but then it might drop really steep to start with and then slowly taper off like that and theoretically it will never actually get down to nothing so as the time goes on uh, the value of it drops down and it gets down towards the bottom there and that's that kind of realistic because if you've got something like a car that you're depreciating you should be able to get it um, down to a low enough level so when you scrap it you'll get some money for it so that's called reducing balance depreciation and it's done using a fixed percentage so let's have a look how you do one so an example might be you have a car that's worth 25 grand uh, and it depreciates by 10 percent each year and you're asked to fill out a depreciation table so if you have a look what we've done to start with is um, we've got our depreciation is zero uh, in the first year and our book value is 25,000 so that's how much we bought it for after the first year it drops by 10% because we're saying that we have a 10% depreciation so if you work out 10% times by 25,000 you'll get the 2,500 your cumulative depreciation is 2,500 because that's what it's dropped by and your book value is going to be your 25,000 which is over here take away how much it's depreciated by which is there okay so you actually do the same kind of process for the first year now the second year you now find 10% of the 22,500 because that's what it's now worth and as you can see what's happening is it is dropping the amount it depreciates each year so this will become six seven no, those come four seven five zero and the, this now will drop down to two twenty thousand two hundred and fifty dollars so notice that the annual depreciation is getting smaller so you repeat it again for the next year 10% times by the book value which is 20,250 and you'll get an annual depreciation of 2025 you add it onto this one here to get your cumulative depreciation 6775 and you take it away from the 20,250 so you have 20,250 take away 2025 which gives you 18,225 so you can see that the book value is dropping the cumulative depreciation is getting bigger and if you add those two together you will actually get the original book value and that keeps on going so you can see for five years it takes a bit of work to do if you had a 10 year one it'd be even longer but there are a couple of ways um, which you can make it a bit shorter so let's have a look at what this table looks like once we filled it out for five years you can see what happens is the depre annual depreciation goes down here and it gets smaller as time goes on so it starts off at dropping by two and a half thousand the first year and by the fifth year it's only dropping by 1640 which is true because the value of the car the car is not worth that much um, once again if you add these two together here you'll end up with your original book value so that's a table now that's quite labor intensive if you're going to have to do that in a test or something but at least visually you can see what's going on and if you wanted to you could graph that you could do your depreciation versus the time and you'll be able to work out or the book value versus the time and you would get some sort of graph that would look very similar to the one that you had before which drops like that okay now of course there's another way of doing it which is a lot easier it's just like using a formula it's like using the uh, compound interest formula um, but in reverse because it's getting smaller so the formula we use is book value equals original value uh, or the original cost times by one take r to the power of n now r is the the annual depreciation rate so in our case it's 10 percent okay um, and our n is 12 for 12 years so you can see over here we've already substituted it in 
BV book value 25,000 one take 0 0.1 so you convert it to a decimal to the power of n and then what you do is you just substitute that into your calculator now you should just be able to start at one side and move all the way across and not worry about the brackets or anything like that so it should be pretty cool so it's just 25,000 then bracket 1 take 0.1 you have to make sure it's a decimal and then raise it to the power of 12 and you'll get 7060.74 so that means the car is now worth that much. The car is worth 7060.74 after the allotted 12 years. So it hasn't got down to nothing. If you wanted to work out how much it has depreciated, you'd get your 25000 which is your original cost. Take away your 7060.74 and it will give you how much the car has dropped in value over that time. And it's 17,939 and 26. So you can kind of get some figures there. Now just a bit of a, an aside is, when you sell the car, if you want to sell the car as a business after the 12 years, you can't sell it for any more than the $7,060. Otherwise you'll get pinged capital gains tax, because it means you're making a profit on it. Because on your books, it's meant to be worth $7,060. You can claim this depreciation every year on your profit and loss statement, and it's just an expense. So that people will use these percentages, put them as an expense, and cater for the loss of their um, item over the years that it's there. Cool.